Hi, it's Dave here. This is a video to show you some of the features of the new version of the Notes app for iPad. There are three ways to access Notes on an iPad. The first way is if you have a Apple Pencil, you can just tap the screen and it will open and begin a new note. The second way to create a new note is when you're in the Notes app, you can just come up to the top right hand corner here and select New Note. The third way to access the Notes app is by flicking on the control center from the top right hand corner, doing a long press on the Notes shortcut and then choosing New Note, New Checklist, New Photo or to scan a document. We're going to choose the New Note option and we're going to choose Full Screen. When you start writing or drawing for the first time, the pencil will use the last preset tool that uh, you used last time you created a note. So I must have been using the blue pen last time I used this note. So to change that, you can just come to the bottom right hand corner here and choose the pencil. It will then bring up the drawing tools and you can see all the different options that you've got available here. Some of these tools transfer to all the other Apple apps such as Keynote and Pages, but there are some subtle differences. So for example, the highlighter, the cutout tool and the ruler and the shortcut to these color palettes. This is the main difference between this tool menu and those found in Keynote and Pages. Another thing you can do is you can drag your tool menu over to the right hand side to minimize it and then just tap to make it bigger or you can come over to, to the option on the right hand side and use the ellipse tool and do auto minimize so it will always snap to wherever you place that on the screen. Let's have a look at the pen for example and same process what I'm doing here is across all of these tools. So here you can see the different line thicknesses and you can see the band changes as a quick reference on each of these tools tools as you click on that so that from a quick view you can see that that's on the very thinnest line. Once you've done that it's going to get you to practice showing students how thick each of the lines are like so and you'll notice as you draw with the pencil the harder you press with the pencil on the glass the thicker the line becomes. It almost acts like a calligraphy type pen, so I think that's quite effective. You can change colours simply by tapping the, the pen or the tool that you're drawing with and then the colour. You can come over to the colour palette here and choose other colours and so on. You can then come across and have a look at what's called the opacity slider. So by sliding that down, you can sort of see here, it shows you it's at 73%. And to give you a good idea of that, is if, if I just draw over the top of these lines, you can see, I can see the black through it. If I was to go that all the way back up again, you can see it's a solid line through that black. So the opacity slider will allow you to see through that line. Here you can see the highlighter and I'll go with a red colour there and you can sort of see how that works. Here we have a pencil tool, so I'll just go with black and it draws like a coloured pencil. What's great about that, if you just turn your pencil on the side, it kind of shades like a pencil would as well, which can be very effective in your note taking. The next tool is the eraser and there are two functions, a pixel or object eraser. So the object eraser will, just by touching any surface of a shape, it will erase the entire thing. So as I just brush each of those objects with the object eraser, it will remove the entire object. So let's have a look at what that looks like for shapes. So for example, I just draw a square and I come back to object eraser and if I just touch the corner of that square, it will erase the entire object. However, if I want to, you know, just erase via pixel, I just come here and choose this option and then wherever the pencil touches, I can then remove those pixels that way and then get a more accurate shape. Or you can use this cutout tool and you can highlight around objects and then move them around on your page or on your notes and so on. So that's another cool feature. You also have a ruler that you can manipulate with two fingers across your screen. And you can notice as I'm tilting it, the degrees is shown in the middle of that ruler. But what's cool about using the ruler is I can 
use my pencil and draw straight lines along that ruler. So, so as you manipulate that, you then get perfect straight lines on your drawings, which I think is quite clever. Okay, so that shows you some of the drawing and note-taking tools in the Notes app. I'm just going to create a new note. And a feature that is not obvious as it probably should be is if you click on the share option, you then get this option to put lines and grids into your document. So I'm just going to choose this one here and then away you go. You can draw over the top of that note. So that is adding lines and grids to your notes background. Okay, another feature of the notes app is checklists. So if you click on this plus here, you can then create your own checklists. All right, so now that I've got that checklist for the supermarket, for example, or whatever else it might be, you can then just click on the to-do list and it reorganizes them. By tapping on the screen as well in the keyboard, you've also got those options across the top here, don't forget. Uh, I should also mention that there are lots of other sharing options with notes as well. So if you're uh, wanting to share a note with somebody or you've created a checklist, for example, you can come up to the top menu option here and you can invite people via their iCloud information into those notes as well. Okay so that is some of the main features of the notes app. I've also created separate videos on how to use the document scanner to create PDFs and how to create a digital signature. So check those ones out as well. The links will be in the comments section below. So give notes a go. It's a great app for keeping yourself organized and for note taking in meetings. The notes app has the same features on iPad, iPhone and Mac. It also syncs across all devices using your iCloud account. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, share or subscribe.